Perfect. Perfect. I always work out in, in sweatpants and, and long sleeves because if I don't and we have like video of it, I, my legs are way too white to ever use. <laughs> I like deadlifts. I like trap bar deadlifts. Those are my those are my favorite. I used to take off the entire off season um, of throwing, and I'd start throwing in spring training. But then I realized that um, my arm really wasn't feeling that great from doing from taking that much time off. So this last year, I started throwing about a month after I took a month off, and about a month after the World Series ended, I started throwing again, and my arm never felt better. No, no, my arm feels great. I do a little bit of band work for my shoulder uh, in season. I think our pitchers do a lot more than I do. Um, but I do, uh, I do some, some different shoulder exercises, some mobility um, uh, exercises in season for my shoulders to try and keep them as ready to go as possible. I like a combination of both. That's that's what I love about uh, our workouts that we do during the off season. Is we start um, outdoors doing our speed and uh, agility work, and then we make our way into the weight room to to do our strength. I think all workouts, whether it's for a full team or a, a guys that are coming into a gym and training, all need to be individualized. Um, you see a lot of high schools, a lot of universities give everybody the same thing to do. And um, I don't think that's good. I think that everybody needs their own individual plan of what their weaknesses are, what their strengths are, what they need to, what they need to address. And um, I think all workouts should be individual. I'd say I probably started individualizing my workouts at about 15 years old. Um, I went to Elevate in Albuquerque, New Mexico um, and worked with a guy named Adrian Gonzalez who works with a bunch of professional athletes, whether it's MMA, baseball, um, football, you name it. And um, I started working with him and he started figuring out the, the deficiencies that I had and what I needed to work on. And uh, we came together with a plan. And ever since then, I've been doing uh, ind individualized workouts. I do, but I think that working out under the age of 18, you need to be very careful because I, I, I think that if you do too much weight or if you um, do the wrong exercises, it could stunt someone's growth and um, you really don't want to do that. You want to you wanna do as much body weight stuff as possible until you get older and, and your body is pretty much um, maxed out. My favorite song to listen to right now when I work out is Great Man by Kevin Gates. We don't run long distance when we work out. We um, strictly do speed work. I avoid flat flat bar bench press. What is it called? What's that called? Barbell bench press. Um, I avoid a lot of heavy shoulder stuff, heavy back squats. I don't like loading up, loading up my spine. Most of the workouts that we do are strictly based on um, getting a stronger yes, but also um, keeping us healthy for a full season. I think that I, I would avoid the, the barbell bench press, um, heavy sh overhead shoulder work, too many push-ups. I think it's fun. Depends every year. Every every off season is different. When we do start hitting, we, we take a little bit of time off from hitting. But as soon as we start hitting, it's um, the first month of it is probably once a day, and then it turns into uh, basically two a day hitting and one workout a day. Not at all. It makes you after you're winning a World Series and tasting that and how how, how that how that felt. Um, tasting that success, you uh, it motivates you more to, to keep working out and, and want to win another one. Definitely, um, we get we get massages done, um, we get some physical therapy work done, whether it's dry needling. Um, one of the doctors here in town, Dr. Casey Ho, um, we work with him probably once a week on 
some some different stuff that he does um, from the physical therapy side of things uh, that really just keep our bodies feeling fresh and and um, really ready ready to continue to work out every single day. I don't really take supplements. No, I think that um, uh, some people do, but my. Uh, Supplements that I take are food, and I think that if you eat healthy um, food, if you eat a lot of food, um, that's all you need. You don't need supplements. Endurance and strength for hitting, I believe, comes from swinging the bat a lot and often. I don't know if there's really a workout to do for that. I think that the, the biggest thing is just swinging, especially as a young kid, swinging the bat a lot and swinging it as often as possible, as many times you can a day. My favorite infield workout is uh, kind of a drill to teach how to throw on the run. And it's two guys um, stand about 20, 20 feet away from each other, 20 yards away from each other, um, and run in a circle. And on opposite ends of the circle, they're continuing to run and they're playing catch while running. I think I knew when I tried out for Team USA, um, when I was probably 15 years old, I figured that I would be able to pursue uh, the dream professionally and there was always something in my head when I was little, whether it was 5 to 10 years old, somewhere in there that, I, hey, you're going to do this, you're going to do this, you're meant to do this and um, I kind of always believed that. I think it was also confidence given to me by my parents saying that you can do anything you want to do and you can do it, you can do it, never saying anything negative about um, my dreams and aspirations of playing in the big leagues.